Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Intla Zondi. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe and join the EFM. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back EFM. It is good to have you back. So please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. So today we are going to be creating this UK black girl look. I have been seeing this look trend on Instagram, TikTok, and I decided, you know what, let me also do it, but also give it a bit of my taste in it, as you guys can see. I hope you do um, enjoy this video, um, and if you do, make sure you subscribe, most importantly. So we are going to start off by priming my face. I do love a nice dewy look. I like a nice hydrated look, especially because I do have dry skin, like I've mentioned before. And so this is the primer that I use. It is the Essence Prime Studio Hydrating Skin Refreshing Primer 24 Hour Hydration. It has hyaluronic acid. Um, there it is. It has hyaluronic acid. I love, 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 love this primer. And also, it just gives me that nice dewy look that I like going for. And I'm just gonna apply it on my face now. Why is it not coming out, child? Anyways. Now that I am done priming my face, as you can see, I am going to set my face with my setting powder. No, I am going to set my face with my setting spray. It's actually a hydrating face mist that you can also use as a setting spray. Um, it is from Nivea. It is the Nivea Rose Care Hydrating Face Mist with Organic Rose Water. As you can see right there. I love it gives you that nice dewy look and sweetie i'm all for dewy looks like one thing that i have noticed let me cover my mic Whew. one thing i have noticed about these uk black girl looks is that they all have like nice dewy looks and that's what i want to achieve i have let this setting spray set properly on my face we are now going to be going over my face with this um, foundation from Rimmel London in the shade Almond it is the lasting finish 25 hour um, skin perfecting full coverage foundation so if I think if you want to achieve this kind of look um, try avoid um, matte foundations um, yeah because I think it just works better with a foundation that is not matte, you know. So I'm just going to put some products on my hand and just go over my face with this foundation from, with my brush from um, Diskim. It is the Basic Beauty 10 piece brush set. Um, I love it. As you guys can see, it has a nice flat um, thing going on here which makes it perfect for putting on your face Now I'm just going to do my brows. 
I love doing my brows after putting on foundation. It just gives it a nice, like they just look really, really nice. Number one, number two, it's just easier to finesse uh, my brow pencil. Oh, by the way, this is a very short eyebrow pencil. It is the eyebrow designer from Essence in the shade 02 Brown. So I'm just gonna um, outline the shape of my brow. I literally have no brows and then I'm gonna fill it in. Right, let's do the other side. Like, I'm so excited about this look. This is definitely a look that I'm going to be doing a lot more. Um, mainly because I just feel like it just complements your skin. Especially if like, you're a dark skinned black girl, you know. I just feel like it just works, it works best. Now I am going to be outlining my brows with my concealer from LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. Oh gosh, there it is, there it is. In the shade Fawn. I've been been using this concealer. It's I just really love the consistency. Like it's not too thick and at the same time it's also not to, I don't know, like you do get like really liquidy concealers and that's what I don't like. And I think this consistency is easier to finesse, you know, when you just want a specific shape for your brows or even for concealing. No, 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 and even for contouring, sorry. Like it's easier to blend with this concealer. All right, now I'm just gonna do the top as well. <coughs> this is an old beauty blender, okay, so don't come at me. This is a really old beauty blender. Just look at how it looks here. <laughs> but I'm still yet to find a beauty blender with this angle. You see, this is like the perfect angle. Even for contouring, just look at this here at the top and just look at how flat it is. Like, I'm still yet to find another one because this is actually like my mom's beauty blender and I took it from her before she could use it because Number one, my mom doesn't really put on makeup all the time. And number two, she doesn't like using um, beauty blenders. She says they waste a lot of products and also they just have a lot of bacteria in them as well that could give you pimples. Um, she's right, but then I just feel like washing your beauty blenders all the time just really, really helps to avoid having bacteria stuck in your beauty blender and then you can now you're gonna have pimples and stuff so yeah and also having a really good primer as well does help so this is how i look right now as you guys can see i have now done my brows and i have put on a foundation now this is the interesting part this is the interesting part because um from the tutorials that I have watched, they prefer having like dark um, eyeshadow. And so that is what I wanna do right now. I wanna have like really dark eyeshadow, but like a nice cocoa-ish brown eyeshadow. We're gonna base my, my, what you call this thing? My eyelids, that's what they're called. I'm gonna base my eyelids because we are using a dark color and I just feel like in order for you to get like have a dark color pop you have to base your eyelids so that's what we're doing now
This is the um, translucent powder that I am going to be using. I'm going to be just using it over my eyelids where I put on the concealer. Actually, I forgot to mention. The concealer that I use to base my eyelids with is in the shade Pure Beige. Um, it is from LA Girl as well, as you can see. So I'm just going to put some products on here. Just a little bit of product on my lid. All right, and then we're gonna base my eyelids. Let me just get rid of the crease here. Before you base your eyelids, just make sure you get rid of the creased parts so that you can get like nice purple work done. Perfect. I'm gonna get rid of the crease here and then add some powder. I have um, set my eyelids. I will now be going over with my, well, this brush here, first of all, with my palettes from Makeup Revolution, Roxy. The pigmentation is really, really good. I love it. And so now I'm just gonna be going over my eyelids with the shade Coco. Go over like this. Now with a different brush, a much fluffier brush, we are just gonna blend the outer parts so that it doesn't have harsh lines. Cause we're trying to avoid harsh lines. This is like my first time trying this on myself. And so I'm really excited to do this kind of look on me. And just blend, 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 blend out the harsh parts. I am going to be using my eyeliner from Essence. It's a liquid eyeliner. Here it is. Uh, so yeah, let's just try. But I'm not really a huge fan of a cat's eye. Um, I'm just gonna do like just a tiny wing, like not a lot. Just a tiny wing. Oh gosh. All right. Okay, so this is the wing that I did on this eye. I think I like it. I don't want it too long. I don't want it extra. I think it's just perfect. So now let's do the same one on this eye. Let me put on these lashes. I got these lashes at um, Little Apple, which is a makeup shop here in Pretoria. And they were literally only 35 Rand. So, and they were also really, really cute. As you can see, I like them and I'm gonna be putting them on off camera because it will take a long time. I am not gonna lie to you guys. I did not expect these lashes to be this dramatic. I did not expect them to be this dramatic. I literally bought them today and I did not expect them to be this dramatic. But nonetheless, I still like them. Now I am contouring my face again with my concealer. I am highlighting my face actually. With my concealer from LA Girl Pro. It's the LA Girl Pro Concealer.
I'm going to be contouring my face with this mattifying contact powder from Essence in the shade 70 Espresso. 70 Espresso. Um, as you can see, it has been very much used. Um, but that is what we buy our makeup products for. So I'm just gonna go here. Mm, I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's giving, sweetie. It's giving. Okay, now let me bake my face with my translucent powder, the one that I used to set my face from Rimmel London. Just underneath here. Yeah. Now let me set my face again with my setting spray. I actually use a lot of this product. Like just look, look at it now. Yo! Mm. Mm -mm. So I'm just gonna line my lips now. Line, line, line. Hey, just wanna have a nice nude lip. I think I like what's going on here. Mm. Most of the videos that I've watched of UK black girl makeup, they normally have nice glossy lips. I'm just gonna go over with my clear lip therapy. It's actually a lip therapy, it's not a lip gloss from a Um I just like it because it's clear because I want this to show and so I don't like using pigmented lip gloss in this case. So because I'm just gonna go over like this. Now I am going to be highlighting my face with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Pearls. And I took a clean brush just to highlight the bridge of my nose a bit. I don't like using a lot of highlights. Like one thing about me, I really don't like using a lot of highlights. All right. Yeah, 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 
okay so this is the look right now i'm just gonna quickly go do my hair probably change my outfit look nice and cute you know not that i already don't but like i do look cute but like just even look even more cuter <laughs> i'll be back i am back this is the final look i do have a white long sleeve top underneath with this nice chocolate brown blazer and gold jewelry as well as my earrings and also um i just put added like i just put foam on my on my weaves to give it that nice um wet hair look ish thing that i wanted um and it's give, like it just really revived the curls so this is the final look i love it it's giving chocolatey it's giving um i don't know i'd be doing a british accent if i knew how to but now i don't know how to so um yeah I'm feeling myself so much right now. Child. Anyways, this is my UK black girl look. I love it. I love it. Let me adjust this thing. Oh, sorry. Let me adjust this thing properly so that you can see. I love it. I am in love. Let me know the type of looks that you want me to do in the future um yeah so that i can recreate them and just give it my own endless on the taste and so yeah i really do hope that you enjoyed this video join the efab like comment and subscribe